Okay, Daniel, I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop. This is my Photoshop. I'm opening up one of my files because I want to make it bigger. It's a... Uh, this is an Illustrator file that I made. I drew this one and then I put some text in with Photoshop because then my program was shut down because it runs on too much memory or something. So anyways, quick toolbar over here. This is to drag things with the arrow. So I click on that so that I can move the parts. These are my layers. This layer is the drawing. When it's selected like that, you can change the size. Hold the shift key down, keep their proportions go like this. Make it smaller, make it bigger. I'm gonna leave it like that big. And then hit enter to accept the changes. And then this is my text layer. Um, same thing here, I wanna make it bigger. So, I'm also gonna, before I do that, I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna change my canvas size. Go to, uh, go to image, canvas size. And I want it to be longer, like, uh, how long, like, um, it's to cover, like, this part of this website. So I want it to be, like, across right here. Okay, so I'm gonna change it to like eight. Let's add another four inches. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve. And keep the same height. So then it just centers things. So I'm gonna move this over. And then I'm gonna make this bigger. I'm pushing shift so that it doesn't stretch my words because if I do that without pushing shift it goes like it changes the dimension and I don't want that so I'm just gonna um, do command Z or control undo or file or what is it step backward would undo it just make sure that this didn't get changed for proportions. Okay, so I'm holding shift down while I'm stretching this. Hit enter. Uh, this looks better. So now I'm gonna save this as an image because then I can upload this image to my site. So I'm gonna go save as. being slow because it's a big file and once it pops up okay this is in the right folder and pick the drop down select jpeg um and then i'm going to change this title because i want to save the other one that i did i'm going to do long long banner oops i'll put this long banner Okay, saving a JPEG. So it's not changing my Photoshop file, it's just saving a picture of it. So it's all going to be one layer. And then, I don't know if I'll probably just leave it how it was before, so I'm not going to save this. Okay. And then I'll go to my site. I'm going to replace this image with the new one. This is like a weebly site from that square um square the payment square website they gave it to you for free so i'm trying to set it up see what i can do with that free web website what i think i'm not logged in let me try and reload this I don't know. I am logged in. 
change. Click on this. Click on the logo. Replace. Oh. So like this one I just made. Where is it? Make sure it's the JPEG. Long banner. Okay, that worked. So it looks small. I'm just gonna make it bigger. It still looks small. I don't like this. Move it over. Why does it have to be centered? This is so dumb. Ah. Whatever. Whatever. Can this be moved? layout yeah I'm gonna do it this way actually and now it looks all warped so I don't like that this one there we go well if that's as big as it's gonna get whatever <coughs> This is where I had it open. I just reload it. Cool. <laughs> Why is it letting me click on that? Click on the home button. So I haven't changed these pictures, but ta da! Let me know if you have any questions. Want to know how to do other stuff? I'll show you.